Hello and welcome back, to another tutorial of Blender 2.8. Today, I am going to explain how to use a collection of objects to a particle system. In this case, we are going to create some low poly buildings, as the main goal is to use them in particle system. This video was asked, so, I hope it will help you. So, let's start by creating a plane that we are going to apply the particle system. Scale a little bit and apply all transformations. Go to edit mode, and press W key and subdivide a few times. All vertex will be used as points that buildings will be generated. Go back to object mode, and move a little bit up the plane to avoid the grid. Here, I hid the collection and added a cube for the first building. But I forgot that collection was hidden. So, press M to move the cube to a new collection. For me, I named my new collection, Buildings. Scale the cube to the size you want. Then, go to edit mode, and move to Z axis until the pivot point is at the bottom of the cube. Here, I will speed the video since it's just some basic modeling to create some low poly buildings. As I said, at the beginning of the video, is not necessary to start modeling now high poly buildings, since, the goal of this video is to use any collection of objects to a particle system. I used extrude, inset, and scale and came across these four buildings. Select all the buildings you created and press M to move them to the new collection you created before. As you can see, we can now hide them as a collection separately from the other objects in our environment. Now select the plane and go to edit mode and go to particle system tab. Click the add button to create a new particle system and choose hair. Enable also advanced since we will need rotation after. Go back to object mode to see the hairs on the plane. Now change the number of hairs to something lower and we are going to increase it in a while. Go to render section, and change from path to collection. Select the collection you created. As you can see on the plane, our buildings are generated but in a wrong rotation. Here is why we enabled advanced. To allow us rotate the objects. Go to rotate section and choose none. Now the objects are at the correct rotation but are too small. Go back to render section, and change the scale at something you like. Change again the number of the hairs and this is it. You have successfully created a particle system based a collection of objects. Now, some final tweaking for me, so I will speed a little bit to the final step. Materials. I wanted to give some variety of colors to the scene, so, let's add different colors to each building. In your case, maybe will be some texturing. Select the first building. Go to Materials tab and add a color for it. Continue for all the buildings you created. Now it looks more colorful. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.